Robo, excuse me, Robo, any special message for all the kids watching at home? Wow. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. Hello, in uh, this video I'd like to talk about procession and what is procession? All you need to know for the Astronomy GCSE is that spinning things wobble. I've got planet Earth over here, there's planet Earth and as planet Earth spins whiz 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 it also wobbles just like the top planet earth wobbles the difference is that it does it the wobbling very slowly and it takes 26,000 years to do one wobble so planet earth spins on a tilted axis and as it spins, it wobbles once every 26,000 years. And that's called precession. Why do spinning things wobble? It's a very kind of degree level physics question to do with something called uh, conservation of angular momentum and gyroscopic forces and things. And we don't need to know. Spinning things wobble, procession. So, what effect will that have? Well, one thing is that the pole star at the moment, the northern celestial pole, as in if you went to the north pole now and looked up, you would see Polaris, because Polaris is directly above the north pole. However, as the earth precesses as the earth wobbles that will change and in the future it may be another star if you look on this map here you'll see that the the position of the northern celestial pole and the southern celestial pole will change quite a bit however if you hang around for 26,000 years then it'll come back to being Polaris again there is a suggestion that when some ancient monuments were built, they were built, for example, the, the pyramids at Giza were built supposedly to line up with the stars in Orion's belt. And then due to procession, they don't anymore. Uh, other things that will change are the position of the, the sun in the sky, the height of the sun in the sky and the position, the height of the moon in the sky as the earth processes. Something else that will change is um, your star sign. Uh, star signs, as in supposedly I'm a Capricorn, saying that, I mean us, us Capricorns are very skeptical about things like that, um, is where your sun was when you were born. When I was born, supposedly, the sun was in the constellation of Capricorn. Apparently, uh, it wasn't, actually, because all of these star signs were, were made up in about 600 BC, which is a good two and a half thousand years ago. And apparently, I'm actually a Sagittarius. And what I'm supposed to be like... I haven't got a clue. Is it a horse or something? I don't know. I'm a bit horsey. Sagittarius. I don't know. So your star sign will change. However, again, if we wait for 26,000 years, then we'll get back again. You know, if you wait for long enough. 
And one last thing that will change is the summer solstice. Um, well, the summer solstice happens 20 minutes earlier every year. So 20 minutes earlier every year, 20 minutes uh, a year for 26,000 years, and we'll get back to where we started from. Okay, so I suggest you learn what the effects of precession are. Um, you know what its effects on what we call uh, archaeoastrology. For example, the pyramids is a very good example of that. Uh, and you know what precession is, spinning things wobble. And that's very straightforward and all you need to know.